Tell me the stories of grace I love to hear. Things I would want you to tell me while I am here. Scenes of your church life, things you have seen. Stories of grace, share them with me. Oh, let me hear how these walls had shouts of praise. Tell me also of the tears that here have been laid. How has God challenged? How were you restored? Tell me the divine powers coming through these doors. Tell me in accents of wonder how you were formed. Tell how you walk with Jesus, strong and as one. How did the master ready you to serve? Tell me, Grace Congregational, why you are church. Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday Midweek Connection, Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. Tell me the stories of grace. Oh, and today I am here with our very first guest, Fred Bates. Somebody had to be first and Fred agreed to be first. So thank you, Fred. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Thank you so much. This is our time during the midweek time that we're just reconnecting with who Grace is. It really is my selfish way, a part of my orientation, to give opportunities for people of Grace to tell me who you are. And then I get a chance to meet people. So I can put more uh, names with faces and because we're six feet apart and we're in the sanctuary, we can take off our covering and I can see your face. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know if that's good or not, but yeah. It's, it's good for it me. Is. Well, good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. So, what story comes to mind when you think of Grace Congregational Church, you probably have lots of stories, lots of things come to mind, but can you share one that you think that is very special to you at this time to tell us about how God has been working here in this body of Christ called Grace Congregational United Church of Christ? Thank you, Fred. Fred Bates. <laughs> well, uh... I think it, I go back to the first, when we first came to Grace Church, uh, 44 years ago uh, that we've been in the church, uh, when uh, uh, we came to Rutland, uh, I did for a job, and, uh, but we, uh, uh, you know, we had uh, a caller come to our house, actually, our apartment from Grace Church, uh, to, uh, you know, welcome us and that. Welcome you to the neighborhood? <laughs> well, to the church, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, because we were in uh, an apartment at that time. Well, we've always been in an apartment. Well, no, because we, we did have a house for 37 years. But, uh, but yes, this person came to our house uh, and invited us to come to the church. And we knew of the church because of David Dean, was our minister at that time uh, and he came from Massachusetts uh, the same town where my parents live so they were very aware of them but we thought that was such a, a, a great thing uh, my wife was pregnant at the time with our second child our daughter and uh, 
you know, it was just uh, such a, a good thing. And then when we came to the church, I mean, uh, everybody was so welcoming to us. Uh, and, you know, it was just a, like a real homey feeling. Uh, and we actually still feel that uh, after all these years that, that we have been in the church. Uh, and, uh, you know, our daughter was married here. So, uh, you know, we renewed our vows here, my wife and I did. Uh, so the church has been such a special place to us that it's like home, actually, for us. Yeah. Uh, and even now, after all these years, our, uh, we have two children that live in Vermont, but they're away, a little bit away. Uh, so they, uh, you know, we've met such nice people here, yeah. made such good friends uh, and relations with, uh, with different people. Yeah. Uh, so that, I think, is, uh, you know, our story i mean you know as you say we could do many but it, it's uh you know just the church in itself is just such a uh, we feel a great place uh and we're looking forward to a new minister in room but uh coming in because we've uh in 44 years been through a few, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. but uh, but yeah, and uh, you know, I I think I do. You know, I've been a, involved in the church ever since we came, uh, and and I still am. Uh, not as much, but uh, mm -hmm. can't climb to the steeple uh, <laughs> much anymore. But uh, you know, but it's all right. That's. Uh, uh, so what did you used to do in the steeple? Well, I've been on the property committee. Ah. Okay, uh, I was a chair along with uh, 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 one of our close friends, Jeff Freeman. Uh, for 15 years, he and I chaired the property committee. But we go in the steeple, uh, <clears throat> you go up there, you can walk across the ceiling up here. There's a thing up there, uh -oh. or you can go all the way up to the steeple uh, where the star is. Ah. Uh, we've had to take the star down at times to replace bulbs, mm -hmm. uh, but that's, I leave that for the younger people. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's an old church, but, you know, and we've over the years had to put it back together in certain ways uh, in that. Uh, but it's it's been a good for me I think, uh -huh. when I retired. It, it really stepped up and, uh, you know, gave me a, a real something to do. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I really enjoy that, uh, doing that. Oh, it sounds like Grace has been excellent at con connecting people and engaging them. So you and your wife have been engaged here at Grace for years. 44 Not years. Not just connected, but engaged, yes. involved in the life of the church, the ministries of the church. Ah. Yes, yes, we, we have. And uh, uh, it, it's been good. And our, our kids were brought up in the church, oh, uh, yeah. both of them. Uh, I like to say that, yes, they're still involved in churches but that happens and, and that does happen yeah. but they were raised up in the church so it's always in their hearts that's right exactly yeah uh, you know our daughter was married right here in this sanctuary so it, it uh, it's such a special place for us yeah it really is yeah and as my wife says it, it's like home mm. um, you know and now the kids are moved away that it uh, we, uh, you know, consider that uh, yeah. as our home. Uh, How wonderful. Yeah. So as the church prepares to call their next settled pastor, that the process that we're in, what number settled pastor will this be for you? Uh, well, 
Let's see, so David Dean was uh, the first one, uh -huh. but but then we we've had uh, assistant ministers uh -huh. too. Yes. Uh, uh, Peter Olson comes to mind. Uh -huh. and his wife were here. Uh, Mark and Amy Pitten. Uh -huh. uh, they're up in Montpelier now, uh -huh. uh, as they each have a church up there. Uh -huh. uh, Bob Curry was uh, one that yeah. came for a while. Uh, then, of course, the last 15 years, the Weatherhogs uh -huh. were here. So, uh, we've gone through a few. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> when you take a look at the age of the church, so this church has been here in Rutland, Vermont since how long? Uh, 1869, I think. All right, uh, 1869. <laughs> and and, and the, your, you and your family arrived, so this book be like the fifth, that's not very bad. Yeah. That that is that that's in because it's the age of the church, um, and the number of years that you have been connected and engaged with the church. So it sounds like to me this may be the fifth uh, long-term settled pastor that uh, we will be preparing yes. the church to call. Ah, yeah, yes. uh, yes. that's yeah. great history. It's, it is. It's, that's it's very exciting. exciting. It really is. Yeah, it really is exciting. And you know the names on the the glass up there of the different uh, ministers going way back. Oh wow! Uh, you know we uh, uh, one thing I've been doing lately we have a, a cemetery up here north on on Route Seven. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, was uh, our first minister. I can't remember his name, but he is buried there, uh -huh. uh, and it's an interesting place to to go. You, uh, you know, got to get a key to get in, but it's uh, uh, something I'm looking into. You know, it really is. Wow! Uh, I didn't realize there were names yes. on the windows. Yes. Well, there are. one yeah. of the midweek connections we may have to take a look at that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, they're up there, and, uh, but it's it, it's been a, a wonderful journey for for my wife and I. And, and that uh, to be here and make such great friends and, uh, mm -hmm. and that uh, uh, it's a good good feeling that's wonderful yes. thank you so much for being the first guest <laughs> on the midweek connection and telling the stories of grace oh um, wow. and you know so now we wish you all a wonderful rest of your week and to know that this church connects and engage so that everyone feels a part of the family and come together together to work together. Blessings on your week. God bless you. God keep you. And we'll see you on Sunday. Either we'll see you in person or else you can watch us on Peck TV or the church's website. But that's how we stay connected and engaged. God bless. Bye-bye.